Welcome, Yellow Starmite at your service with episode 26 of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. And so, let's play. Okay, so here we are up in this weirdo's house over here. Um, so, this is... This is also not only is how you get back up, but it's also how you get back down. You can go and talk to that guy. Um, I think it's like 10 to 20 rupees. Yeah, I think it's 20 rupees this time rather than the 10 that it costs to get back up. Um, and then you just grab a cuckoo and go on down. But we're going to go. So where we need to go is Hyrule Castle. And we're gonna go see Bay, but there's a few things we want to do first, or that we're going to do first. I'm gonna get Pappy to do them. Plus, it's just easier to get back this way. But we're gonna head back over to the bridge, and what we need to do is there is over in this direction. Um, there are two golden bugs we're gonna get. Um, yeah, let's turn the bombs off there. I'm trying to... <laughs> trying to hit that guy. It's not gonna be very easy. Uh, yeah. Yep, there we go. Boom. Bang. And we need this guy. We're gonna bring him on down. There we go. Come here, baby. Okay. Grab you. Put him in our pocket. Grab Pappy. Okay, and we're gonna just take a little stro- Whoa! Mr. Flarmp, wait! <sighs> Greetings, Mr. Flarmp. I've come to deliver a letter. There's two letters, in fact. Wow, I- <laughs> Well, my business is concluded. Onward to mail. I swear I actually read it that way when I was reading. Like, I read it as if that's what the first sentence said, and I don't know how my brain <coughs> got that. Okay, now we just need this guy. So, now that we have this guy... Um, we're just going to head on back to Hyrule Castle. Because that's really all we need. Um, it's just one of those things where... Later on, having to do an entire video... Or like several videos of just doing side stuff... Is going to be way too much, so... I'd rather do at least some of the side stuff when I can rather than waiting till later. And plus, there will be a point where we'll need more money anyway, so might as well. And we're almost there. But while we're here, there's two golden bugs over here as well. There's no reason to pass by them. Well, I mean, there kind of is, but we're not going to. Oh, gosh. Oh, jeez. I knew what that sound was. Oh, gosh. Okay, take that. Um, I think we're going to try and get a little closer here. And then we're going to... Yeah, there we go. Okay. Come on down. Ah, sweet. Okay, now we need to get down. Oh, jeez. Uh, please. Please. Sweet. That almost created a situation where I just keep climbing on Pappy. That would not have been good. Okay. So now the, the other one is over here. Um. Now we just need him.
And now we can head off to Hyrule Castle and we need to do a few things in there as well. Um, before we go see go see Bay. Okay, first we're gonna get, go talk to this guy. If you would, for the sake of peace and high rule, would you? Well, okay. Basically, you just donate money to him. Um, I would heavily suggest doing fifty rather than thirty. It is worth the wait. Um, because with a weird number like thirty, you're probably gonna end up spending twenty extra rupees that you don't need to. In order, because you have to spend a thousand. Um, but because it's, it's a, yeah, it's just it's just not gonna work out for you. Thirty does not go equally into a hundred or a thousand that I know of. Okay, just that one more. Um, that at least puts a little bit. Um, that's all we have for now. Um, we we'll want a little room in our wallets too for what we're about to do. So, okay. So, get ready for this. This is one of the creepiest characters in all of. The okay, it's definitely a creepy character. Oh boy, I thought you were a giant grasshopper, but you're not a bug, you're a person. Still wearing those clothes. Oh, yeah, you're just so cute, just like all the bugs. I invited the 24 golden bugs to the world, of the world to the ball, but I don't know if they got lost on the way or, or what, but they're not here. That's for sure. If you see them, would you please bring them here to Akatha's castle and tell them the princess awaits? Oh, Boy, if you have a bug with you, please, please give it to me. The ball must begin. Yes, sure. So I'll show you a few of these, um, just because uh, the first few interactions are specific. And she says some weird things, like, I might mistake you for a grain and put you in my cereal. Um... like whenever you give her a bug but um, what she's gonna the first thing she's gonna give us here is pretty important and then yeah so big wallet we used to only be able to hold 500 rupees now we can hold a thousand um, and now she's asking for a partner for that first I think I'll show you another one because we have to we have to show you what it's like. It's a, a very specific. So this is the one I'm about to give him. It'll create a situation where it's what normally happens when you give her a bug. Most of the time. I want to tie your long antenna into bows. Yeah, she's she's weird. Um, So normally she gives you 50. And then if you give her a partner for a bug that you've already given her she'll give you something different so we'll show you this we'll show you the female ant now since we've already given the male ant and she says the cereal line again kind of hoping it might be something else creepy but what she gives you is a hundred rupees so as you can imagine, this is a great way to earn rupees. It's very worth your time collecting those bugs. So I just edited it. Um, now this is the last bug that I have for now. Okay, and she says she wants to tickle 
his belly all day long. His or her, I didn't, I don't remember. There we go. Oh, and because we went halfway, we also get the stamp. Okay, only 12 more bugs left. We're already halfway there. Okay, let's get out of here. And let's go talk to that old man. Since we have a bunch of rupees now. We have 800. Okay, so it just edited it again, and now we have 200 rupees. I'm gonna give him that last little bit. And we got a piece of heart. So now we're gonna go get Bay. Okay, almost there. Oh, it's almost missed. It. You gotta be kidding me. Okay. Um. Yeah, I suck. Yeah, I totally forgot that there's a whole nother thing down here. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's been a while. Hey, girl. That is a Zora child. That is beyond my expertise. Hmm. Hmm? Meh. Doctor, wait! Um, if something isn't done, this child will... Uh, Bay? Uh, hey, hey, uh... Oh. Well, this isn't good. A human doctor won't do, huh? It reminded me, though, I heard of a shaman in Kakariko Village in the Elden Lands who's tended Gorons and Zoras. Is that true? Perhaps if we take him there... <clears throat> Inadvisable! Too dangerous! But we can't turn a blind eye to a pretty girl in need, either. Yes, we'd better escort you. Am I right, boys? <laughs> well, isn't that nice? To reach Kakariko, we've got to cross two plains that are each infested by dangerous beasts. But we'll be safe now. It's funny because he's short. Huh. Cowards, don't ever show your faces here again! Hmm? Oh my. Looks like we've got one young swordsman left. And he's hot. And not only that, but it looks like the brave man will escort us. So get ready to go, honey. Pronto. You know that girl, don't you? It's a real shame. She can't even remember her own name right now. Bless her heart. <coughs> she found this poor boy collapsed on the road, so she did all she could 
to save him. More courage in that girl than in all the soldiers of Hyrule, for sure. You lend your strength to her, you hear me? You know what? Screw you, male stereotypes. Toxic masculinity. So you say the bridge to the east has been destroyed, huh? Then our only option is to cross the bridge to the west. You see what that means? I gotta fight that guy again? You'll have to deal with that thing. That's what I said. Th thank you so much for this. Um, if you don't mind me asking, what's your name? Flarp? I will never in all my life forget your kindness, Flarp. Or your name. Little lady, I think you'd best save your thanks until we're safe in Kakariko. The swordsman of ours has a great eyes, honey. They're proud and wild like a feral beast. We'll need a beast right now to keep the true ones at bay. If we make it to Kakariko safely, then you can uh, press the button too quickly. Okay, since this is not my favorite mission in the whole game. And remember, kids, eating your uncle's fungal hair may taste gross, but at least your aunt will respect you. And this is Yellow Starmite signing off. Remember to like and subscribe, and see you on the next episode.